We're doing a low-dose lung cancer screening uh, to try to detect lung cancer early uh, in our population because we, uh, we found that uh, trying to catch lung cancer early is really the best way to try to uh, cure it. Uh, lung cancer kills uh, over 160,000 people each year in the United States and uh, it's the leading cause of cancer death more than uh, colon and breast combined. And uh, up to this point, we really haven't been able to make an impact uh, in terms of reducing mortality. Uh, only uh, about 16 to 70 percent of patients are alive at five years following a diagnosis of lung cancer. And that's mostly because uh, we catch it be, uh, when it's too late to uh, treat it effectively. Maine has a slightly higher uh, uh, incidence of lung cancer than the national average, uh, whether it's our incidence of smoking uh, within our state uh, or uh, the radon that is fairly prevalent, uh, arsenic uh, uh, or whatnot. So there are some environmental factors as well as uh, uh, prevalence of uh, tobacco use. Yes, uh, Central Maine Medical Center first started uh, looking at uh, screening for lung cancer back in 2009. Uh, we joined the uh, International Early Lung Cancer Action Program, which was actually an international study, uh, which we were uh, one of only two participants in New England, uh, gathering data on uh, patients and uh, about trying to detect lung cancer early. Uh, since that time, a randomized study came out, the National Lung Study Trial, uh, which uh, was a large trial that essentially proved that screening with uh, low-dose CT scans can save lives. It was a 20 percent reduction in mortality for lung cancer. Uh, once that study came out, we moved from uh, a trial or study basis to essentially just offering the therapy. But we initially uh, started uh, looking at lung cancer screening back in 2009 as part of that study. And then more recently, in the last two years, started our own uh, early uh, detection uh, program, uh, not a study any, any further uh, here at CMMC. The, uh, the basis for what we're doing now is a national uh, lung uh, study trial, uh, which was a, uh, a trial that took place between 2002 and 2004, where over 53,000 uh, patients were enrolled uh, and then randomized either receiving a CAT scan of the chest uh, every year or a uh, chest x-ray. And it was a low dose uh, uh, CAT scan, low uh, radiation dose. Uh, that study uh, found that there was actually a 20% reduction in the risk of dying in the, in the patient group that was receiving the CT scan. And that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine back in 2011. So following that study uh, being published in 2011, the U.S. Preventative Task Force uh, came out with a recommendation that in the population that was studied um, in that trial, uh, they made a recommendation that lung cancer screening with a uh, low-dose CT scan uh, was of value. Uh, that was followed by many other uh, surgical societies and cancer societies coming out with similar recommendations to screen for lung cancer. The population uh, specifically we're talking about are patients age 55 to 74 uh, who are either active or former smokers. If they're former smokers, uh, they should have quit within 15 years. Uh, they must be asymptomatic and they must have a 30-pack year smoking history, which means they smoked one pack a day for 30 years or two packs a day for 15 years. Um, and in that population, again, uh, this study uh, showed that there was uh, a st statistically significant reduction in mortality in the group that was studied uh, with the low-dose CT scan. A patient can make a self-referral to our lung screening coordinator, uh, Crystal Nayok, um, or they can be a referral from their primary care provider or their physician. Uh, 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 once that referral is made, our coordinator will contact the patient. There will be a, a, a telephone screening. Uh, to make sure that the patient qualifies. Again, the patient has certain age criteria, uh, history criteria, of smoking. Um, the patient must be asymptomatic, no symptom, no cough, no coughing up blood, uh, no recent diagnosis of lung cancer. Um, so uh, there's a screening process that's easily done over the phone. Uh, assuming uh, that uh, there's no uh, contraindication or a reason not to proceed with the lung cancer uh, screening, the patient would be scheduled for a low-dose CT scan. That usually happens within a week or two of that uh, um, screening phone call. Uh, at that point, the patient would come in, have this CAT scan, which takes about 30 seconds. 
Uh, there's no intravenous or IV or no needles uh, that are required. You don't need to get undressed. You can wear the clothes that you walk into the hospital with. Um, you then, uh, the study will then be uh, uh, reviewed by one of our radiologists. Uh, the radiologist, uh, if there's nothing found, the patient will receive, as well as the patient's primary care provider will receive, a packet of information stating that uh, there was no suspicious findings. If there is anything found that needs further follow-up, again, the patient as well as the primary care provider uh, in a coordinated fashion would, would get that information. If the recommendation is that the patient sees a pulmonologist, we would aid in uh, 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 helping with that referral. Um, now, uh, when these scans are done, probably about a third have some incidental findings on them that need follow-up. That doesn't mean that you have lung cancer, uh, but it just means it probably just needs to be followed up with some additional studies uh, at a later time. So uh, that is something that, again, we discuss with the primary care provider, with the patient, and if there's a recommendation for uh, having pulmonology involved, we would arrange that, uh, uh, coordinate that as well. Taking a half a step back, uh, if there is suspicious uh, suspicion of cancer, uh, the appropriate all the appropriate workup tests can be done here at Central Maine Medical Center, whether that's uh, uh, minimally invasive biopsies and radiology, uh, follow-up uh, CT scans, uh, PET scans, uh, bronchoscopies, uh, and biopsies, etc. So all the uh, diagnostic tests uh, can be done here in a timely fashion. Uh, as the information is gathered, uh, it's really a coordinated program. It's not simply a, a, an x-ray test for the patient. Uh, we have a thoracic oncology group that meets uh, uh, every two weeks and reviews all our uh, suspicious uh, chest uh, uh, lesions or uh, uh, lesions that we have concerns about. Uh, that group includes the medical oncologist, the radiation oncologist, the radiologist, the pathologist, thoracic surgery, and the pulmonologist. So there's about uh, 12 to 15 physicians uh, sitting around the table uh, looking at uh, uh, radiology images as well as pathological images and really coordinated, coordinating the patient's care in a very timely fashion. Uh, so uh, that is then relayed back to the patient through the appropriate uh, physician, whether that's uh, the pulmonologist, the thoracic surgeon, uh, medical oncologist, etc. Uh, and the care is coordinated amongst all the specialties and it's done uh, expeditiously.